Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. It's my privilege to address this distinguished gathering at the second global Uncle Tong, Uncle Tong One Day, One Mission, One Global Effort. First and foremost, I would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to my friend, Dr. Herbert. Hamanyan, the editor in chief of Uncle, Uncle Daily, for the kind invitation to be part of this remarkable event. And vision have been instrument, instrumental in bringing together a global community dedicated to advancing oncology. As the president of a World Association, for Integrative Oncology, WHO, Asian Oncology Society, AOS, and the China Anti-Cancer Association, CACA. I'm honored to represent these three organizations in congratulating Uncle Daily for hosting of this. You are unwavering commitment to fostering collaboration innovation, and the knowledge sharing in the fight against the cancer is truly commendable. China Anti-Cancer Association, CACA, founded in 1984, stands stand as the largest and the most influential cancer society in China for over 40 decades, 40 years. CACA has been at the forefront of advancing anti-cancer initiative, driven research and fostering collaborations within the global oncology community. Today, CACA boasts an impressive network of over 840,000 individual members and 230 professional societies. Reflecting its extensive reach and impact in the fight against the cancer. On the other hand, World Association for Integrative Oncology, WHO, is a relative new but rapidly growing non profit, non governmental international organization. I had the privilege of initiating WHO in 2023, with the vision of building a new system of holistic integrative oncology to improve the global cancer control. Since its inception, WHO has seen steady growth now comprising 120 members from 70 countries and the district in the world all united by a shared commitment to innovation and collaboration in cancer care. Together, CACA and the Whale represent the power of a global part partnership and the importance of uh, integrating the diverse perspective to address the complex challenges of uh, oncology. Last year, we heard the 2024 Chinese Congress on Holistic Integrative Oncology in Xi'an, China, with over uh, 60,000 physical participants. The conference was a uh, resounding success. I'd like to uh, extend my heartfelt gratitude to the experts from more than 100 countries around the world who attended and contributed to this remarkable event. I'm also deeply appreciative of your unwavering support in the future. During this gathering, Kaka and Will took a significant step forward by becoming strategic partners with Uncle Daly. Through the signing of a collaboration agreement, we uh, so, uh, solidified our commitment to working together 
in the fight against the cancer. We are honored to join hands with uh, Uncle Daly to advance holistic integrative oncology, promote innovative approaches to cancer care, and to foster global collaboration. Children are the future of a nation, and uh, their health and uh, well-being are uh, paramount in China, with a population of approximately 250 million children under the age of 14. Pediatric cancer poses a significant public health challenge. Each year, around 30,000 new cases of uh, pediatric cancer are diagnosed, making it the second leading cause of the death among children under 14, surpassed only uh, uh, by accidental injuries. In recent years, China has made significant strides in the field of uh, pediatric oncology. Advances in research and the technology have expanded treatment options, opinions, and uh, uh, improved outcomes for young patients. Surgery remains uh, a cornerstone in the treatment of pediatric solid tumors. Challenges such as in the uh, inactivate uh, the preoperative evaluation and uh, outdated surgical techniques have led to the complications and the suboptimal -op results. We develop our own car cognizance for holistic integrative management of pediatric cancer, which is more specific and uh, suitable for Chinese patients. Over the past decades, China has developed more comprehensive preoperative assessment systems, refined treatment strategies, and introduced innovative surgical techniques, including bloodless surgery and organ preserving procedures. These uh, advancements have not only enhanced surgical safety and uh, treatment efficacy, but also contributed to higher survival rates and improved quality of the life for children battery and a solid tumor. The burden of the cancer knows no border. It is a, a universal challenge that demands united response, responses. As a global population ages, the incidence and the mortality of a cancer are expected to rise. Uh, under a scoring the urgent need for international cooperation in our fight against the uh, disease. No discipline can thrive in isolation. It is through open com communication and collaboration that we generate the sparks of uh, innovation and uh, drive progress. Today, we are privileged to witness the extraordinary gathering of uh, leading experts from around the world, coming together to share and exchange the latest advancement in pediatric cancer prevention, treatment, and research. The 24-hour uh, Virtual Telethon served as the vital platform for learning, back dialogue, and uh, collaboration. I'm confident that the insights and the ideas shared here will inspire new approaches and uh, strengthen our collective effort to combat the pediatric cancer. In closing, I would like to extend my best wishes for the success of the global Uncle Tim. I am also excited about the potential fruitful collaborations with Uncle Daly in the future. Together, we can make a meaningful differences in the lives of children and 
families affected by cancer. So at last, thank you all for your dedication and your contribution. Let us continue to work in hand in hand towards our cancer future. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Fan. We were joined by uh, the Director of State Key Laboratory of Cancer Biology, Vice President of Chinese Academy of Engineering, past President of Ford Military Medical University, and the Vice President of Chinese Anti-Cancer Association. Thank you very much for your speech, and thank you for giving us your time.